Hi there, I'm Flora, Portside High School cheerleading captain and beauty pageant queen. My natural beauty and charisma mean that everyone's drawn to me, but hey, I don't make it easy for them. I only allow a select few to get close to me as I can't be seen associating with just anyone. Only my classmate Nina is pretty enough to have the coveted position of my BFF. Birds of a feather flock together, right? My high school life was perfect. But then, in the space of one day, that all changed. The principal, Mrs. Harrington, told me that due to my cheerleading abilities, I'd won a scholarship to the ACL Academy, a boarding school for the athletically gifted. And I was leaving today! Huh? This made no sense! I mean, I don't even do sports! I rushed straight home to discuss it with my mom and found her sitting on the couch surrounded by a load of shopping bags. Yep. She'd already spent the scholarship money before I'd even found out the news. I know mom loves money, but how could she make such a huge decision about my life without discussing it with me first? Ugh. Looks like I had no choice but to leave Portside High behind and go to this stupid sports school. Whatever. I'm a skilled cheerleader after all. It'd be a breeze, right? Wrong. This new school sucked. On my very first day here, I was woken up at 6 a.m. and forced to run five laps around the stadium. God, are these people superheroes or what? How are they able to run and laugh at the same time while I'm panting like crazy? I didn't have time to catch my breath when the teacher made us move to the gym to lift weights. After three hours in the hellish gym, I barely had time to digest my lunch before they steered me into the volleyball court. Yep, that's the sport mom had registered me for. Ugh, this stupid sport. Finally, nighttime arrived, and I managed to crawl my aching body back to my dorm. God save me from this living nightmare. Suddenly, the door opened, and in stepped my three roomies, aka my volleyball teammates. Honestly, I don't even know if I could call them girls or not. One has super short cropped bangs, one doesn't say much and shuffles more than walks, and one wears clothes so baggy they resemble a tent. Obviously, I'm way out of their league. And you know what they all have in common? They're always sweaty. So gross. Come to think of it, I have to go take a shower ASAP. Otherwise, I might turn into one of them. Fresh out of the shower, I called Nina and blurted out how exhausted I was and how much I missed our school. Poor you, you must be so tired. Oh, by the way, I have some amazing news to tell you. There's a city beauty pageant coming up and I'm representing the school. What? But I won the school beauty contest. Yeah, you did. But you don't attend Portside High anymore, so seeing as I came second, they've given me the spot. Too bad, as you definitely would have won. What? How unfair! I was still in shock when the dorm supervisor stormed in and took away my phone. Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention. This school even has a strict 10 p.m. phones away and lights off rule. It's all because they believe health is the most precious thing for an athlete. I tossed and turned all night. This beauty pageant was massive, and there's no way I could miss it. But I'm not at Portside High anymore. Instead, I'm stuck in this dumb jock academy. Hmm, if only I could get out of here. Huh, that's right. I have a brilliant idea. I need to get expelled. So, I decided to skip practice and go cause some havoc for three days straight. I poured paint into the pool, cut off the badminton strings, deflated all of the soccer balls, and of course, I made sure that the security cameras caught it all. And as expected, the principal eventually called me into his office. Yes, this was the moment I was waiting for. Soon I could pack and get out of here. Only the rest didn't exactly go to plan. If it had not been for Mrs. Harrington. Two laps of frog jumps around the soccer field, now. What? Frog jumps? I hate those things. Why couldn't he just kick me out already? But wait, what does Mrs. Harrington have to do with this? After my punishment, I needed to vent. So, hugging my aching thighs, I called Nina to complain about my failed plan. And she just burst out laughing. <laughs> oh, Flora, those outdated tricks were never going to work. You have to do something bold, like... <gasps> oh my god, Nina is a genius. The next night, following Nina's instructions... I sneaked out when everyone was asleep. That's right. 
I'm going to wake the whole school up with these firecrackers. I lit one in the dorm's backyard, then ran to hide behind the bushes. Three, two, one, and silence. Huh? I went back to check and saw that it had gone out. What's wrong? Is this one broken? I tried again and again, but the same thing happened each time. As if a ghost did it? Just the thought of it sent chills down my spine, so I sprinted right back to my room. Okay, so not only had my plan been a massive fail, but it had left me super tired. Needless to say, this morning's run was not fun. Zombie alert! Hmm, how come they look even more exhausted than me? Hey, have you guys heard about the doomed jock? He's the ghost in the dorm's backyard. Allegedly, he attended this academy years ago, and he exercised himself to death right there in the dorm's backyard. So now, he haunts it. What was she talking about? Could it be the one who messed with me yesterday? Was the doomed jock? I couldn't just give up like that. I needed to figure out a way to get out of this awful place before this ghost got me. Hmm, how about starting a fight? I heard that the fencing team and basketball team were the two toughest groups in the school. So, I sprayed paint on their fencing masks and punctured all of the basketballs and left a fencing sword at the scene. Then I wrote both teams an anonymous letter. Sunday, 2 p.m., abandoned building near the back gate. When Sunday came, I hid in the abandoned house and waited for the two groups to arrive. Look at their tense faces. This was going to be fun. I quickly called the cops and then took advantage of the chaos to blend in with the feuding teams. I almost got punched in the face when, fortunately, the cops got there just in time, causing everyone to frantically flee the scene. I happily ran to a cop. It's me! I started this fight, but to my surprise, the cop just asked if I was hurt. Then he hurriedly chased after the gang. Only then I realized that if I wanted to be caught, I had to do exactly what they did. Run away! Oh, man. I was staggering my way back to the dormitory, feeling deflated, when I spotted the fencing and basketball teams coming my way. Freaked out, I looked around for a place to hide, but there was only one car parked on the side of the road. With no other way, I ventured to open the car door and, oh, it wasn't locked. I quickly jumped in, hid under the back seat, and lay completely still. At that moment, the car door swung open. I closed my eyes and braced myself to catch some hands, when suddenly the car revved up and left. Looking up, I saw the principal sitting in the driver's seat, whistling happily. Oh, so it was his car. After a while, the car stopped in front of a bar in town. Didn't expect a serious man like him to go to such places. But wait, an underage student being caught by the principal here would surely get me expelled, right? With that in mind, I hurriedly followed him. But at the door, a security guard stopped me and asked for my ID card. I had no idea what to do when suddenly a strange guy appeared. Hey cutie, need an ID card? How about this? I'll lend you a fake ID to get in. In exchange, you must go out with me tonight. Sounds good, huh? Well, I didn't plan on sticking around for long, as I would just get in, find the principal, and get caught right away anyway, so I nodded in agreement. I was about to take the ID card from him when someone yanked me back and pushed me into a cab. My roommates! What are you doing here? Do you know you've just ruined my plan and- Ruined? Who's the one causing trouble here? Do you honestly believe that if you get expelled like that, your old school will take you back? <sighs> Fat chance. Huh? How'd you know that I'm trying to get expelled? Turns out my roommates overheard the conversation between me and Nina. It was them who extinguished my firecrackers in the campus backyard, then made up the doomed jock ghost story to make me stay away from there. Then, when the basketball and fencing team searched for me, it was them who lied that I was with them all day so I could get away with it. But what did you do that for? Don't get us wrong. We didn't do it for you. We did it to protect the school's reputation. Then they started telling me that, for the last few years, due to bad achievements, our school was on the chopping block to make space for industrial areas. The only way to convince the city council to keep our school was by winning the state's upcoming sports competition. We've all played sports for all of our lives. Sport is everything to us. If our school closes, we don't know where we'd go. 
That's why when we saw you being lazy and messing about, we couldn't just sit back and watch. Oh, I had no idea about this. Suddenly, I felt so guilty. I mean, of course I don't want to ruin their futures. I then also opened up to them and told them all about the beauty pageant. They insisted there must be a way to join the pageant without returning to my old school. So they searched around on Google, and guess what? Turns out the pageant accepts free candidates too, which means no school registration needed. What else could I wish for? I immediately signed up for it, and as a thank you to my new friends, I started making an effort at playing volleyball. I'm a tall girl, so my training position is a right side hitter. And you know what? There is this satisfaction whenever I was able to block a ball. Not gonna lie, this is much more interesting than I thought. That weekend, I went to the city to pick out some dresses for the beauty contest. I found myself immersed in racks of gorgeous gowns when a familiar voice startled me. How about this one, Mom? Stunning, sweetie. You're the most beautiful girl in this world. I don't know what possessed them to pick Flora over you. But no need to worry this time, as I have sent her far away. Yeah, that's where she belongs. I'll show them who's the true beauty queen now. What? No way! My old school principal is Nina's mom? And transferring me to the sports academy was part of her plan? Just so her daughter could go to the pageant? I was fuming. So as soon as Mrs. Harrington went outside to take a call, I walked straight over to confront Nina. I can't believe you're like that! Nina looked shocked at first, but then smirked as she said, Like what? Like someone who's far prettier, more talented, and crown-worthy than you? Thanks, sporty girl. I shoved past her and stormed out of there. Wait for it, Nina. We'll soon see who the real winner is. The next few weeks were crazy busy with volleyball practice and the pageant preparations. I may have only been a reserve, but I still wanted to give it my all to motivate the team. The sports competition soon arrived, and after two days of competing, the fate of the school came down to the final match. Our volleyball game! Talk about intense. It sucked it was on the same day as the beauty pageant, as I would have loved to be able to cheer them on from the player bench. But then, disaster struck. The girl who plays right side hitter sprained her wrist and couldn't play. The whole team looked so worried, and that made my heart ache. There was only one thing for it. I'd replace her. If I was quick, I could still make it to the beauty pageant afterward. Come on, Flora. Stay focused. Just one point left, and we'd win. Suddenly, the ball came flying at me. This was it. I hit it with all my might and... Score! We won! I was busy celebrating our victory when everyone suddenly asked me about the beauty pageant. Oh my god! I almost forgot! The match went on longer than I thought it would. My friends dragged me into the taxi, but when we got there, the show was already coming to an end. And worst of all, guess who was standing there wearing the winner's crown and looking all smug? Yep, Nina. Did you come to congratulate me? Thanks, bestie. Oh, you guys must be Flora's new friends. Hmm, that figures. How cute. Stop the act, Nina. Yes, they are my friends. They're not fake, and they're a thousand times more interesting than you. <laughs> Say whatever you want, but I'm a beauty queen now, and you're no longer at the same level as me. My friends started clenching their fists, so I quickly pulled them away before anything happened. Right at that time, an announcement came across the speaker. Attention, pageants. We've just discovered signs of voter fraud. Please stay inside the hall and await further confirmation. About 30 minutes later, the truth finally came out. Turns out, Nina's mom had paid for the voting texts. Needless to say, Nina had her crown taken off her immediately, and Mrs. Harrington also lost her principal job. <laughs> what goes around comes around, right? As for me, I'm not bothered about beauty pageants anymore. Instead, I have a new hobby, volleyball. Turns out I'm pretty good at it, and who knows, I might even become a professional player? And you know what the best part of all this is? I now have true friends by my side who I know will be willing to help me anytime and anywhere. <laughs>